they can come on pathway in coagulation process so let's get started you just have to draw a y just rub the extra part here and then complete the The end product is fibrin matrix. So you just have to draw three lines. One and three on one line here and then three lines here and just to remember that this is intrinsic this is extrinsic and this is common pathway okay just remember one more thing extrinsic pathway is the shortest way of blood clot blood clot formation and it's this is associated with prothrombic dime and drug name warfare Sorry for the misspelling. And on the other hand, intrinsic pathway is associated with partial thromboplastin time. And, uh, and the drug associated with this is heparin or heparin okay so what's the mnemonic for this y diagram so i'll make it in the factor associated with intrinsic pathway will be in green with extrinsic pathway will be in purple and in common pathway will be in orange color so intrinsic pathway starts from tens Ten, two, one. Then eight. A. Five A. And then calcium. 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 So basically, the a conversion of uh, factor number 10 
to 10a requires calcium so the both factors coming from intrinsic or extrinsic pathway requires calcium so you can see here we need calcium and here we also need calcium so just let's just to make it more clear okay so what does the t stands for t stands for 12 e stands for 11 and stands for 9 and then you just have to write a as a suffix in front of every number 12 a 11 a 9 a 10A, 2A, 1A and there is another vector that is vector number 13 And this is 13A. Again, and this is 7A. So the factor 12A changes to factor 12. Factor 12 changes to factor 12A in presence of Kelly Crane. And and in an extrinsic pathway, the factor seven changes to seven in presence of tissue factor. So after activation of factor number twelve, it activates factor eleven. Eleven activates factor nine. Nine A in presence of eight A and calcium activates factor number ten. Then ten. A in presence of 5A and calcium activates factor 2. Then 2A activates 5 factors. I'll circle all of them. This is, these are the factors that. Factor 2A activates. So 2A activates 1, factor number 1, factor number 5, factor number 8, factor number 11, and factor number 13. So then after activation of factor 1A, 1 to 1A, 1A in presence of 13A lead to the formation of fibrin matrix. So which is ultimately known as clot. So this, if you remember each and every step of this diagram, you will be easily determine the effect of factors on PTT or PT or or vice versa so let's take an example if we have a deficiency of factor 12 it will just only it will only affect the intrinsic pathway there will be no effect on the extrinsic pathway so in this case the PTT will be prolonged if you see A Wikipedia page will show you the same thing. In case of factor 12 deficiency, the PTT will be prolonged and there will be no effect on the prothrombin time. 
in case of factor 5 deficiency and 10 deficiency both of these belongs to the common pathway factor 5 and factor 10 both belong to the common pathway so there will be prolongation of PTT as well as PT and let's take another example in case of factor 7 deficiency which is also known as congenital proconvertin or factor 7 deficiency it will only affect the extrinsic pathway and thus prolongs PT prothrombin time only so here's pretty much I hope you like this video and if you like it please thumbs up below and thank you very much take care